In the NFL, the drive to greatness comes from within. With reflections from the first two weeks of camp in the rearview mirror, all eyes are on the road ahead as roster decisions loom. The big focus is the process. You know, there's there's a process that we got to go through. We've got to find ways to get better every day. There's uh, last night is a great example of it. You know, there's some guys who felt really good coming out of that scrimmage. There's going to be guys who don't feel good coming out of that scrimmage, but they're going to have other opportunities here in the next couple of weeks, and they've got to get to the film. They've got to uh, get in their books, and they've, and they've got to take advantage of all the practice uh, reps that they get and find ways to, to put great stuff on tape. When we practice, we want to take advantage of all the things that we've got control over. Um, and you know, so the expectation is that these, that everybody, coaches included, go out and give it their absolute best every single, every single play, every single day. And that's your effort, your technique, um, the physicality at which you play. So those are things that we feel like we have control over individually. And if you can dominate those things, we feel like you can have a good productive day. All these guys are motivated to play football, all of them. The difference in athlete is so minuscule. You know, the, the difference between player athlete A to athlete Z, uh, and, I, and I'm not talking about your, your absolute superstars like the Aaron Donalds of the world, but the, but the difference between them is minuscule. And, and usually what seems to separate guys is their absolute drive and love for this game and their relentless desire to be great. And, um, and you know, I think, I think those guys kind of separate themselves naturally, you know. So the, so as we continue to watch and we look at the, and we go through tape and, and we, and we look at the different, at, and we talk attributes, I think the one thing that always pops out is just a player's willingness to go a little bit further than another player to get, th uh, get things done. But when you look at team building and, and the way teams grow together as a unit, the great champions, when you ever, whenever you talk to teams that win championships, the common denominators, they talk about how great the locker room was. And the beautiful thing about football is that these players all come from different backgrounds and they have an amazing history behind them. And they're all thrown into a locker room and we've got to try to come together as one. And that's going to be a, a, a process that doesn't stop at week one. It continues on through the season and we're going to continue to learn one another. We're going to continue to grow. Uh, as a group and as a team and um, and the more we're together and the more continuity we can have of keeping the same guys together the better that's going to get. There's things that we have control over and there's things that we don't have control over and uh, the more time you spend on the things that you have absolutely zero control over the less time you have to dominate the things that you do and uh, so the, the focus for everybody is to, to find something to get better at, find, find something to work at, find improvement somewhere in your day. So when you go to bed, you're a little bit better than you were when you woke up. And uh, that philosophy is never going to change. It's a lifelong philosophy that's not just football, but life in general. And, uh, and I think our guys have done a great job here during training camp and even OTAs, uh, dating back to OTAs in terms of, of doing things in a way that helps them get better. And yesterday, is another example of, of opportunities for these guys to find ways to get better and I'm excited to see these guys continue it.